Hi, Abuna. It's uh, Genesis. Hi, how you doing? Good, I'm okay. Actually, this was a question I had uh, since yesterday when we read about St. Gregory, um, about hesychasm, and I was wondering if, like, are there any saints that are, like, you know, like like us, like, reg regular, or they have, like, families or working jobs uh, that achieve, like, hesychasm? Uh, or ha have you, like, seen, you know, like, uh, people who are not monastics uh, achieve something like this? And like, what does it look like in that context? Yeah, it's it's a very good question, and the answer is yes. And right away, it came to me a story. I think I spoke about it before, but I'll I'll tell it very fast. It happened to Saint Anthony the Great, you know, the father of all monks. I mean, Saint Anthony was amazing, amazing, great uh, person or or man. So what happened, it came a time which happened to many of the ascetics or the hermits. It, it will come a time where they might think, you know, they are the best. And uh, so God want to humble him. He said, uh, he sent him an angel and told him, no, you are not the best. There are some. And St. Anthony, you know, he had deep desire to know who this man was, it, you know. So God granted this for him. So an angel took him basically instantly to a town where the, this man was. And, and this man was an emp emperor, not king, emperor. Emperor is the king of kings, right? So he took him to a, a, a street where a huge crowd uh, uh, receiving, you know, the, the emperor, the emperor coming with the huge, at that time, they don't have cars or this or that. They have uh, a caravan like you know uh, horses with the uh, huge beautiful decorated uh, I don't know what you call it but you could call it a car you know if you know that the, the, what I'm saying you could correct me on the name of it yeah the, oh, the chariot you talking about like the chariot yeah 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 okay huge one beautiful this and that and here there is uh, the, the emperor sitting with the most beautiful clothes glorious you know uh, all of the above, and then Saint Anthony was standing on the road just to, for for the emperor to to get closer. And he was wondering in his mind how how this emperor with all this glory and this and that can be better than me. So when the emperor got close to Saint Anthony, told him, "Anthony, come." So he called him by name without knowing him before. So. At that moment, uh, St. Anton realized that the emperor is, is way up. So he came with the emperor and then went to the castle. There the many, many people are there. And then uh, the king ordered to, to bring food for all of them. But the king and his wife and St. Anton did not eat. So after everybody finished and the emperor made sure that all have eaten, they went to their cell. So when they went to the cell, the emperor took his uh, glorious and uh, the, the clothes that he, he wear, he took it off. Under that was a sack, which is very thick and it's very painful to, to, to put on. And they sat on the ground and they brought him only bread and salt and water to eat. And then he realized that, uh, you know, that, that how glorious God is to, to, to have saints in, from all kind of uh, uh, levels or status. You know, the farmers, the kings, the emperors, the soldier, the farmer, the slave, everybody. Uh, so he, the answer, yes. And, uh, uh, and many married people became saints. Uh, that uh, and, and glorify God in their in their uh, life. So the answer is yes. The idea is to love God, and the more you love Him, the more sanctified you are, and the more you know uh, grace you receive. And um, like I said, many of them be became uh, great saints, and and her, you know, like um, you could say, like hermit, you know, where they are able to be more than one place if they want to or very fast to transfer from one place to the other and things like that to help not for to show off you know so 
So that's a good question, and the answer is yes. Oh, thank God. It, it sounds like then, you know, because sometimes, you know, if I read like these, uh, let's say, complex the theological words, I will get like excited and uh, I also think I'm the best because I read something most people didn't read, like Hezi Chasm, but at the end of the day, you know, it should really, like in the spiritual life, it should be much more simple. We shouldn't just think of, oh, okay, all these techniques for Hezi Chasm, it's, at the end of the day, is, is it still about just like, to keep it simple, the love of God, the love for God. Exactly. Everything else will follow if yeah. God wills. And, and uh, you know, many times uh, temptation come to our hearts. You know, I want to be great. I want to be able to do this. I want to do miracle. I want... All this nonsense, you know, the idea is to remember that the most important part and the only important part is how I could grow in the love of God, how I could love God more and more and more in my life. So this is very important to that. But many of us, because of the pride that's still in our hearts, we want to be something, you know, I want to do this, I want to do that. No, the only thing I want to do, uh, you know, we need to realize that the only thing we should look forward for it, how I could grow in the love of God, how I could love God more and more and more. And that should be our main objective in life, uh, you know, to work with. Thank you so much. It's really nice, Father. God bless you.